Good morning, good afternoon, and good night. Welcome back to another episode of City Skylines Sunset Harbor. We are back here in the great city of New York City, and we are back with another episode. What I'd like to do today is we need to build an airport. So I'm gonna show you how to build a metropolitan airport, and we're gonna to try to create our own custom design, which, you know, in the YouTube world, not many people actually do. So what I have over here, I've chosen over here for our, basically, I wanna build our airport over here and everything that that entails. So for the Metropolitan Airport, remember one thing, you will need the City Skyline Sunset Harbor DLC. And it is going to be in your public transportation hubs and I know, I know you'd be like, well, you're just gonna place it and call it an episode. No, we're not gonna place it and call it an episode. We are gonna do some major detailing and add a bunch of other things. So first of all, all I did was I flattened this lovely island. It really wasn't too bad. It, it was kind of like rocky coast like this. And it just, it the nothing would fit on top of it essentially. So what I'd like to do is I would actually like to build the airport right about there. So we have that, and I'm actually gonna hit the pause button because I actually wanna move th those cruise ships. And I also want to add something else over here. So there is our Metropolitan Airport, first of all. So as you can tell, it is an awesome looking airport. It's huge, and it, it it's, it's pretty cool to have in your city. Uh, there is an underground Metro line. There are helicopters that you can actually connect to it. We'll get into that later on. But let's get back over here. So we're building basically almost like an airport island. So what I want, want to do is, is this a one-way road? I'm gonna use a one-way industrial road and I kinda of wanna go up this way, up here, but I need to make sure that the cargo hub actually fits in here. Now, I did not measure this out exactly, so you know, it'll be okay. So let's go to our airport and then go to the cargo hub. And so that's a little too big. So I think I can actually go just straight across. So I was trying to be cute with it and try to get, try to get all fancy with it, but didn't work. Did not work. So while I'm deleting this line, please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe on this video. I know there's not too many metropolitan airports out there. Um, so I just wanted to show you guys what you guys can do. And it's not just a cookie. You know, I understand I just plopped it down, but you know, not all, can I fit that? Will that work okay? What do you guys think in the comment section? Or can I put it a little bit higher so it's kind of parallel to there? I'm gonna move it four squares higher. All right, let's try to do that from like right here. There we go. All right, so let's just see if it fits. But uh, yeah, please remember like, subscribe, and comment. So all right, so we could have two parallel runways, so that will work out pretty well. I'm actually really happy about that. All right, we need to get out of this. Okay, so what we can also do is another thing. So let's get back to demolishing these roads. What we could do is actually pretty simple. So see how we have this diagonal? City Skylines will 100% know how to use that diagonal and go like that. It That works perfect. Now what we're going to do is I'm actually going to just turn this around It's a pretty good U-turn. If that's way better than City Skylines normally does for me. Let's see if we can go literally straight. Oh, that actually worked perfect. So I just wanted to create a one-way system in and out of this cargo hub. I understand that trains will be coming in also, so we'll get to that later on. Now let's get back to over here. So now what we're gonna have to do is this is gonna be suicidal. This is not good. One, the reason why I'm a little nervous to demolish this is because, look, we have 389 people already coming in. But the problem is, is we need to get a road. So we need to get a road from about, uh, we're going to use a normal road for over here. We can actually kind of connect it up. So what if we go like, see, the, the problem with these metropolitan airports is they're not easy to work with. What I mean by that is that they're not exactly like like customizing them is not remotely is not very easy. 
All right, so let's get some, actually, you know, if I could do one-way roads and then kind of, I have an idea. I have an idea, guys. So what we're going to do is we're going to update these roads. No, we want them to go the other way. So we're going to have a one-way in and one-way out. If City Skylines will let me let this happen. I don't know if they will, but so far, so good. All right, so we'll have a one-way major road. So we'll get our large road and we'll get this over here with bike lanes and stuff like that. But we want, it, we want it to come across, and I think I'm going to have it come across and then just go land right about here. We I don't want to touch our little, it's not, I guess it's a tram hub, I guess you can call it. I guess you can, yeah, I guess you can call it a tram hub. All right, so I want, don't demolish. All right, go like this. Then I want to go straight, I just want to go straight. Essentially, just go straight into this. Whoa. Okay, so now that we have that and we'll have it connected to over here, maybe I won't move this cruise ship hub. Um, well, what is it? What's the actual called? Uh, harbor or something? Yeah, because it's doing really freaking well, and I really don't want to disturb that. Um, so, uh, oh, as I was saying before, um, one of the things that is a major problem with the Metropolitan Airport is that it's just not easy to build around. Ooh, that looks a lot better. Cool, so we have that. So like, how can we do, what can we do? Oh, I'm gonna have to use the move it tool like this. Oop, wrong button. Like, we're gonna have to raise that. There you go, I, I'm, I could do this later. I just, it just bothered me. Okay, so what we can do is we have a passenger train line right here but the problem is is this is in the way and the problem is is if we go to the left we're gonna cut off a lot of a ton of cargo or cargo cruise ships they're cruise ships I don't care if it's called a harbor or not we're gonna consider them cruise ships all right Jesus city skylines all right so what can we do with these cruise ships or the not cruise ships but what can we we need I really do want to place a a train station now did I leave enough room for it that is the real question that is the real question oh beautiful okay so we're gonna have the train station there we just need to figure out when I'm not playing this or when I'm doing the fast forward rendering I'm gonna figure this out but I can't, I honestly, I can't go straight. I'm stuck there. So I'm going to figure out what to do next and hopefully it looks good. But so far, so good with this. Now, what, what do we need? What do all airports need that, um, that we don't have right now? Well, that's going to be parking. So let's get over here. Scroll through, scroll through. We'll have a couple parking lots. Um, how do we want to do it though? That is the real question. All right, so we have these medium-sized parking garages. Where can can we put a couple of them like alongside here? That could work. Just put like two of them side by side by side by side. That could work out really well. So let's go over here. There we go. Oh no, we want to, oh Jesus, we wanted to. We can't have a one-way road going that way. So let's update that road. Ouch, ouch, not a good start, sports monkey. See, you, you take one day off because you had life circumstances happen to you and now you're rusty. Oh, okay, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cheat. I'm gonna use the move a tool. I hope this works. There. Nope. No. 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 Did you guys just see that? I, I swear to God. Not working. Not working. But all right. So we'll have two like that. I, that will be fine. I'm probably gonna. I might use the move it tool just to make it a little bit closer. But then let's fill it in with some smaller. There you go. Just a couple smaller parking lots. Beautiful. Boom, boom, boom. What we can do also is I did leave a room for a path. 
stuff like that. So don't be afraid to actually use that path. I'm going to get to that when I start detailing. So what we need to do also over here is we need to add, I'm going to you know it would be a good thing to add in that corner. I'm thinking of a park. I just don't know which park I'm thinking of. Like, a park in this corner would actually work out pretty well. Or, or even, oh my god. Let's see, what do we have to unlock? I know we have a statue of some sort. Oh god. So, I think if we could do this. I don't know if we can do this, but we're going to try it. Can we put a road like that? Okay, so then can we put the statue? What? I don't even know what statue that was. All right, let's see. Put the statue in there. And then let's see what the statue was. I don't. I didn't. Oh, no. Oh, it's the Plaza of the Dead right in front of the freaking airport. Oh, well, that will do for now. So what you guys want to also do is just to add some more realism to it. I know I'm not detailing yet, but just you can add a... Can try to add a fence around here and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use the move it tool eventually just to go around so I'll go around that and that won't be a problem but just to add like a fence around the train station stuff like that add some more realism to it and then we also need to connect this one-way cargo airport up so I have things to do so what I'm going to do for right now is I'm actually going to let you guys go. I'm going to start detailing this. I know I know you might be like, well, this is not, you just plopped it down, blah, blah, blah. Wait until you see it detailed. So I'll be back, guys, and uh, just hold on for two minutes. Okay, guys, and we are back here at our Metropolitan Airport. Everything seems to fill in nicely. We have a lot of commerce and offices mixed into this area. Um, it is a high traffic area, so things are looking pretty good for over here. And I did I did add the passenger train line, so I, I did do something different, guys. I put the passenger train line underneath that large road. I was going to go over it, but you know what? I've been using the move it tool way more and it's worked out pretty well. Now I did try to make this a little taller, that bridge. Ooh, but, well, I know the right hand side, but we'll, we'll, that's acceptable for the time being. So we did connect that train station. What I also did do was this was a little bit tricky and I do have to use the move it tool for it because this looks ugly, but <laughs> I need to fix this bridge, but I did add a one way road system to our cargo 
to I was going to say Cargo Harbor, Cargo Airport Hub, and I did add some custom mods. Uh, there are containers, custom containers. Then there's the FedEx, if anybody knows. Oh, and UPS. Wow, we have UPS, FedEx. So that is a cool little cargo area. I found that really, really neat. So I'm really happy with the way that turned out. Then what I did with the airport was I put a fence around it. I put trees around it, but obviously not trees in the area where the runway and planes are going to land and stuff like that. So I tried to go around that to try to make it somewhat realistic. And it turned out really, really well. And I think this is a pretty cool rendition of the Metropolitan Airport. Um, I know that there's not too many of those out there. I did play some rocks over here. Um, that should be okay. Um, usually planes shouldn't overlap that much, especially in the taxiway area. I could delete those. But anyways, I did add a radar detector. I did add an air traffic control center. So this place is really popping and it's, and at least it's off to the side. It's not making noises. Um, you know, any noise pollution, I should say. So what I also did do, uh, garbage has piled up, but, um, but I did add also the Metropolitan line. I didn't add any bus lines yet. I just thought of that now. But overall, guys, I think this turned out pretty good. Um, please let me know in the comment section below. But let me know what you think of the Metropolitan Airport and you know how well we did. And, and including the cargo hub, the cargo airport. So please let me know in the comment section below what you think. I think it turned out great, so uh, thank you guys for watching, and have a great rest of your day, and hopefully you guys really enjoyed this video.